Welcome back. If you're new or maybe returning, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. It would really mean a lot to me and helping the channel. Truly the one thing I do love about air shows is it's not just a fantastic opportunity for the industry to obtain a lot of attention, but also to be seen in a positive manner. The past five years have been tough for our industry with numerous challenges. One standout has been the continued development of the 777X and also its recent rise in interest. The 777X was first unveiled over a decade ago and yet to fly with passengers due to not just certification complexities but other internal issues at the plane maker which have only complicated proceedings and cast this plane with a fair bit of negativity. This was only exasperated during a period when also it wasn't really obtaining any orders. However, the past 18 months have seen a pretty big turnaround for the 777X. The aircraft has garnered a lot of new orders and boosted its backlog quite substantially substantially, a promising sign for an aircraft not expected to enter service for at least another year, and potentially longer if you factor in most airlines' guidance which doesn't match up with what Boeing is expecting. Why though? Well, in the case of the largest customer of aircraft Emirates, their additional purchase which came towards the end of 2023 certainly sparked much debate, and no, that was not because it was necessarily a purchase, but I'd argue it was the circumstances around it. Why is that? Well, Emirates is the largest customer of the 777X, as I touched on, and they're therefore the largest supporter. But equally, they are the most critical and outspoken. As a result, the purchase and the timing of it came after many, many public outlashes from key executives at the airline, so many might consider that quite a substantial discount and maybe even fantastic terms were added to an arrangement if Emirates committed to more aircraft. Whether Emirates' frustrations were as true as made out as many pondering, maybe it was a ploy to get something better for their future flying. Either way, their frustrations are valid, and ultimately it's it's not just felt by them. However, Emirates does remain one of the many airlines that has recently committed to this type. What else can contribute to the success enjoyed thanks to this program? Well, let's factor in future considerations. Explicitly, I want to focus on high capacity flying. This is a market segment that is complicated as we move into the mid 2020s, when you actually deepen more of its trajectory. The industry has changed, oh, ever so slightly, not just in the last 10 years, but extending it further to the previous 20. Maybe I should exaggerate a bit more. Massively, actually. Gone are the age of the quad-engine super jumbos that could carry, say, 500 people or above, and while they still have a role within the industry, that role is diminishing, and these planes are not produced anymore. So something has to come in, to some regard, to replace it. While no technically commercial airliner is going to adequately fill the shoes of some of the largest ones, they can bring efficiency, and the 777X program is widely considered to be a future alternative for customers who have relied heavily on quad-engine planes for high-capacity flights in the past. While competing with the A350-1000 in this regard, the 777X promises efficiency and potential in the cabin to cater to airlines' requirements. As a result, airlines are assessing the next 10 years, and most of them won't be including quad-engine planes, or they've already adopted retirement plans. So they need to begin moving. Despite its complexities as an aircraft, the 777X spec-wise remains an attractive option for most, and when you factor in that delivery slots are easier likely to obtain, for airlines locking in contracts now, it can present a great opportunity to have the crucial asset when they require it later down the line, rather than at that point. Point, scrambling for available units, which might be scarce. Of course, this is a stance not all airlines can adopt, but you have to consider that those actually able to order a plane like the 777X from the source are typically more stable as companies and backed further if anything was to happen. They would probably stand to reason as the best likely to survive. Has airline customers' confidence, though, been growing in the 777X and been a factor in why more are purchasing it? Well, if we take a look at at recent months, the 777X has actually progressed in a more upward trajectory. 
This was especially highlighted thanks to the 777X flight certification test flights beginning, and these with the FAA aboard. But actually, from the standpoint of customer focus, if we look at least on a public level, what has dropped, more and more have become more vocal and voiced their frustrations around the delays, and obviously from that, the financial impact, which has really hurt them. But it is, in my opinion, important to note that this is directly impacting impacting airlines that have held orders for this plane for five years or more. Yes, we're talking into the mid-2010s, that's how long they've been waiting. So when they factored in that they were initially expecting this plane in 2020, 2021, and now we're almost into 2025 and they're still awaiting it, you understand the implications there. But new customers, such as Air India, Ethiopian Airlines, and a few others alike, knew about these delays before they committed to the aircraft, potentially leveraging them to maybe obtain a better deal, but also with the knowledge that they didn't order this plane 10 years ago, needing it now. They're looking more into the future. This is a theme in our industry and extends beyond to the likes of car sales, appliances, and much more. The life cycle of existing planes is another thing to consider. When introduced, the 777X came out at an exciting time, but it it was also at a period where, considering the original 777's position and age, it actually meant it was still in its prime not nearing the end of the line for most companies. What does this result in? Well, it means most operators that have the 777 aren't necessarily going to be looking for a replacement, which meant the 777X wasn't necessarily going to fly out of the blocks for the long term after it initially garnered a lot of interest. But if we look to the next 10 years, more of these companies are going to be looking for a replacement. Further, as we hopefully only see demand for flying continue to grow, more airlines are going to look to commit to an aircraft like the 777X. And you have to consider that factors such as certification and the plane actually getting airborne and proven are going to be huge. They may lead to further top-up orders from existing customers or those that are potentially interested in the plane firming up that order. So the 777X, it's been a very busy last 18 months, and to the plane's credit, it's done well. It's obtained a lot of new interest and is slowly but surely progressing in terms of a certification, and that is despite a lot of still negativity around it, which you'd argue has to be understandable from airlines who are seeing financial hurt. That is going to conclude another analysis here on Globetrotting. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I certainly do appreciate the support here on the channel, and I really do enjoy making videos. Take care, be safe. I'll see you in a couple of days for your latest aviation analysis. And I'll just add towards the back end of this video, if there are so happen to be any kind of video you'd like to see me do here on the channel, whether it is an analysis into an aircraft's performance, say across the last 18 months or a fleet video or taking a look at an airline in the future, you do know that the best place to leave that is in the description where there is a link that'll take you to a Google form. I believe you'll be able to submit your video idea and then it will go into the long list of ones, hopefully for some time to be completed. Thank you once again for your support. Take care, be safe. And like I said, I'll see you in a couple of days. And we'll fly.